Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. Thank you so much for being here. I have a Halloween Dollar Tree haul to show you guys. I'm so excited. So um, yeah, I'm dressed up a little bit for Halloween. I've got my skeleton hands in my hair. I got my um, new pumpkin ring on and my new pumpkin earrings. So um, I'm so excited so excited for Halloween. So anyways, you guys, let's do this haul. There's so much to show you in here. Let, uh, let's get started. It's, it's so exciting. So I got this like about, gosh, probably a week ago, but I've been like um, wanting to sit down and do this in my studio um, to show, make sure I show you all the detail that is included in everything that I got because everything is so like very nice, like looks more than a dollar 25 high-end looking item so yeah so I'm gonna start with this jack-o-lantern yard stake sign I love this guy he is so retro looking he is so totally adorable I love his like pose even I love his um, glittery face his bow tie I love the bow tie detail and let me go in closer so you can see isn't he fun? So the only thing with these is when they get wet, you know, of course they start to warp and that type of thing. So I don't know how to like keep it from warping. I wish I knew, but for $1.25, um, you know, I can always just toss it, unfortunately, if it gets like destroyed with the, with the rain, because we do get rain here in California in the fall. So, um, but he's so cute. I'm going to put him outside as like a little pathway marker and I just can't get enough of him. He's just so adorable. So I got two because two's better than one. <laughs> so yeah, they're going to be so cute. And even like you could put them in your house, like in a planter or, um, you know, lean them up against like, you know, the wall or something, and then maybe put something to cover this part up I mean there's a lot of like DIYs I feel like you could do with these guys so yeah I wanted to get two to make sure I've got a backup because I was like a dollar 25 what so yeah then I want to show you what else I got so let me just um, okay here we go let me show you the vampire the next one is the vampire Woo! I love him so you, you know, I don't see a lot of vampire stuff for Halloween anymore. Um, I'm feeling like I don't see as much. So when I saw him, I was like, I definitely have to get one of these. So he is definitely glittered out with his like brooch right here as a bat. And he's got his like cape and he's doing his, you know, classic vampire pose there. And I love the red, the black, the green, everything like totally pops on this, uh, the yard stake sign. Then I also got the, even his, his, uh, his hair is even made of glitter. Then I got the vintagey welcome skeleton sign. I love this one as well. And I love the top hat that he's wearing. Again, we've got a lot of glitter detail and the welcome is written in glitter. So I thought these would be great. Let me back up so you guys can see some more detail on these, but yes, right? So I got a total of four. So four for my, um, either my house or my, you know, yard or wherever it's just super super fun design next up oh my gosh this is so cute this is new to dt this year this like candy tray witch hat so i actually got one for my mom i called my mom up when i was shopping i was like mom do you want one and she's like yes so um anyways i thought this would be so so cute they have an office my parents um and so um anyways um so they uh, thought they could put the candy in there. It'd be so cute for um, customers for Halloween to put on display. It's just so cute. So anyways, look at this, you guys. I mean, how clever, even for like, you know, you could put like even like fruit in there, like a Halloween party or, but it's a witch hat. I was like, this is so much fun. Love the purple, love the belt buckle hat part detail. So I got one for me and, and I actually called my sister. I was like, do, do you want one? Because I like feel like these are gonna fly off the shelf because they're just so like cute and like a nice size too. Like see that? Like that's pretty good size little party tray. Yeah. Next up to this would be, I just realized this. This would look so cute on top of this. So I got a tablecloth or table cover, I should say. This is the plastic table covers. I think these were out last year, but I really love this um, pattern. It has this like, um, you know, uh, Victorian esque, the Edgar Allan, I can never say his name, Edgar Allan, I can't, you know, I'm trying to say Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, so we've got the crow, the raven, we've got the candles, and um, almost looks like writing in the background. So this will be really fun. This is um, 58 inches by 108, so it's going to cover my long table. And just a really fun way to dress up 
the table for Halloween. For $1.25, yes. All day, yes. That's a great deal. Then I got some more items, friends. Yeah, the Halloween is like totally hot at um, Dollar Tree. It is like hot. So I did get some chains. Like, I think these are so cool. These glow-in-the-dark chains, okay? So they're not super long. Um, in fact, I just realized what I'm going to do with this. Okay, so this here, they have a, like the... Um, the ones that come out every year that look like raw, they look like raw iron and they look like they're heavy chains. These are um, the, but these ones glow in the dark. So that's why I picked these ones out. And I actually got a set of two. So what I'm going to do is I think I just like, as I'm like talking here, it just came to me that I think I'm going to try to like somehow connect them. I'm sure they can connect somehow. Yes, they can. There's a little thing right there. Awesome. So, okay, this is what I'm going to do. See, I just connected them like that. That was super easy to do. So I'm going to put these on my, uh, as a mantle, like on my fireplace, like as a garland, you guys. I love this. This is so cute. And you could probably hang even like some cute uh, pumpkins on there or whatever. This could actually be like the skeleton of a really cool garland for like Halloween. I love this. So putting two together, you see how long it got just by putting two together? So this is a really fun piece, a really fun piece. Then I got this LED. I actually got two and I had to return one because one was broken. Like it didn't want to light up for me. So I um, just, I, you know, I exchanged it for something else in the store. So that's fine. I was like, I really don't really even really need two. But this is really cool. I actually have batteries in it. So it's an LED shadow projector. It lights up. So there we go. And it has on the top the little like cutout so that it'll project on the wall. But let me go ahead and turn it on. It's really quite fun. So I think hopefully, oh, the battery, did the battery, the batteries are in there. Did it just eat up the batteries? There it goes, there it goes. Okay, that's that worried me for a minute. So let me show you this. It actually is really bright. I don't know if it's showing. But I might include a clip right here so you guys can see it lit up like against my wall. But you can see, let's do this for an example. You can see that it definitely, yeah, you can see the characters right there. That works. But you see, I'm going to do it like this. There's like lights on me right here, so I don't know if it's going to show. But you can see it's projecting pretty well. There we go. And they change colors. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And for $1.25, I feel like that is a really fun little thing to have, you know, to have on hand. You could even put it outside, um, just like, you know, it probably it shouldn't get wet at all, right? It's probably not outdoor. Yeah, no, this is for indoor use. But, you know, just a little party indoor or whatever, like indoors, I think this is a great deal. So then you saw this. I did get two of these for my kids for school. These are the dry erase boards. These are such a good deal. These are better than the Daiso pricing because I love going to Daiso as well. But $1.25, you get both the marker with the eraser and your board. And so yeah, I picked these up. Okay, then I also got these. I always get these so because they're easy to replace. I have washed them. I do wash them in the dishwasher and they sometimes crack because these aren't really dishwasher safe. So, but I just throw them away if they crack. But these are great little dishes to have and they look like little crystal um, bowls and they're four pack in there. So I really enjoy these. I use these for all sorts of things. You could use these for crafts, anything, you know, to like separate things or um, use as like water for your paint. You know, it's just like, it doesn't have to be just for food items. Then I picked up the plates. Oh my gosh, these are like beyond cute. I can't even with these because it's like a mummy and it's got the wrapping of the mummy up here and you get 10 plates in there. So not a whole lot, but it's really detailed. And <laughs> look at the face for the mummy. So yeah, I got those. Then I was like, which one? I could not make my mind up, up which one, no pun intended. But um, yeah, I got the witch with the witch hat, like right there, it is just adorable. So this is something new. Does that look like, do I look like a witch here? Does that look like it belongs on me? There we go. So we have the witch and, um, but yeah, 10 pack here too. This would be so cute on like a table setting with like this here. Like I create, I just didn't even realize this, but I totally just created like a whole tablescape. Like we got it all here. Like this could, you could put on top of there. Now I didn't see any napkins that match these. Like there may be some napkins floating around there at DT somewhere, but I didn't see them at mine. I also got the jack-o'-lantern one. Does this look like 
it just looks like it goes on me there. <laughs> so yeah, the jack-o'-lantern with the um, cute little stem there sticking out of the plate. Again, this was just a uh, 10 count, but I couldn't like decide. So I just went ahead and got them all. There's actually one more, I think. So, but that's 30 plates right there. So I think that's a great start. I also picked up two of these LED taper candles. These are light up ones. I thought these would be really nice to have on my dining room table when I don't want to have to like watch the candles, you know, like I actually have real taper candles. Um, but these are battery operated, so I can just leave them on, have some ambient lighting when I don't want to like have to worry about watching the flame, you know? So I got these. Now this one is, 240 total hours it does flicker which is really cool and I like the height of it then I picked up a roll of tape or two rolls of tape there because I'm thinking Christmas is starting to you know it's coming up sooner than then I, I mean, it's gonna be just here before we know it. So I wanna start getting tape because I never have enough tape when I go to wrap gifts. So every time I go to Dollar Tree or wherever, I'm just like buying tape because I need it. Um, next up is this bag of goodies. So we got this, oh, this, I could not believe Dollar Tree has these. Like this is brand new to Dollar Tree this year. And you know, let me open this up. I think I'm gonna need some of my scissors. Here we go. So it's a skull, like a flocked skull. Now, um, I did peek at one of them and you know, I wish they weren't in the, I wish, I, I'm glad they're in the plastic bag, but I'm not because they actually, one of my, one of the ones I got is kind of like messed up with like the flocky. So this one I haven't checked. Yeah, this one's a little bit better condition. Yeah, for $1.25. If this was at Bath & Body Works, I love my Bath & Body Works. You guys know that. I'm like a huge fan. But if this was at Bath & Body Works, I could easily see this being, well, it'd have to be like a candle holder too, right? But um, a lot of money because the flocked gnomies I have here, my candle holders, I got all three of those during Christmas time or after Christmas, some of them after Christmas on sale. But I bought one or two at full full price, which is 20% off. And those were like $34.95, I think, um, with 20% off. And it's the same. I just uh, ripped off the tag. But it's the same type of treatment, you know. Um, this is over like a uh, foam thing, so it is not as nicely made as Bath & Body Works. The ones on bath, from Bath & Body Works, if you're new to Bath & Body Works, they're over like a ceramic body. Um, but this one, look at this, for $1.25. This is incredible. And the detail looks like he's missing teeth. I mean, it is just so cool looking. And it, I love that green too, that like really great Halloween green. Go closer. Okay, so there he is. And then he sits up just nicely like that. Oh, I guess I got two rolls of tape. So see, I'm starting to plan ahead. Speaking of Bath and Body Works, I did get another gingham pumpkin because I love them and do I have my other my other gingham pumpkin is downstairs I bought a lot of these I'm just starting to bring them out of storage I love these gingham pumpkins because they do remind me of the Bath and Body Works so um they have them in orange and black um different color options I chose the blue again I have them in all colors I have them in the orange and the black that I've gotten over the years Next up, um, I actually went to Arizona and I didn't end up needing these, but I bought these for my trip. So these are the toothbrush holders. So they are like your toothbrush cases. It says great for home or travel, helps protect your toothbrush, compact and easy to pack so you can take your toothbrush anywhere. But for a two pack, and I like that it's not just the top of the, you know, the toothbrush holder, the whole thing is encased, which I think is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, you get blue and like a clear. There's the back. Next up, I got these. I love these candle snuffers. Okay, I already have one, and um, it actually is really funny looking. I should show you guys. It has like wax like built up over how many times I've like snuffed it out, like instead of blowing out the candle. Um, it's so much easier because you know how candles get hot? So if you go to like try to grab it, it can just be really, really hot. So I chose, um, I really like these. This is telescopic too. Um, so this does, this should extend. I think this one extends as well. Let me take it out of the, um, I think this one extends. Great for safely extinguishing candles with no mess. I want to say these, this is telescopic, but I could be wrong. Anyways, I just love these. Like, I really love it. You just, you know, and so that way, because I have like a, um, areas that are high where I light my candles. And sometimes, I mean, I don't want to reach and grab it. And then like, you know, so I use this. 
and I, it's always been coming in handy for me. Next up, I got a Nomi, a vampire Nomi. He's so cute. I love this dude. He's just so fun with his red lined cape and his little fangies are right there and his little hat. I just think he's just so awesome. And you know, I love that pop of red with the black and it just works well with my Halloween decor. Super, super fun. There's the back of him. I like his pose too. He's just like standing there. He's like chilling. Then I got a pack of rubber bands for my daughter. These are great little rubber bands and these are made by Goody Ouchless for, it says medium hair, 15 piece set. All right, we got one more bag to go through. This one right here, I'm so excited about. Okay, so here we go. We have, okay, I bought these on the trip before last, but they're still there at Dollar Tree. So I got these chair covers. These are so awesome. I love putting chair covers on my like dining room table um, because it, we have like a great room. So like you can see the dining room table with like a big portion of our house. So I like to decorate those um, chairs for each like, you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, Dollar Tree brings out the Santa suit for the chair covers at Christmas time. And then Halloween has the the jack-o'-lantern face, I have those too, but this time they brought out scarecrows, which I think are so much fun. Look at how cute these are. So there was an option to get in the fold, it goes over your chair like this in the back. So there was like a, um, a lady scarecrow and a man scarecrow. I chose the man scarecrow because the lady one had an orange um, hat and I like the brown for my house. They're both really cute. I had, I had a hard time deciding, but I ended up going with just this. I could have done, uh, you know, would have been cute to do um, since I have six chairs on my dining room table to do orange, brown, orange, brown, like, inner, you know, mix them. That would have been a cute idea too. But I ended up, I didn't think about that when I was there. So, um, but yeah, they have the little glitter pumpkin detail right here. And uh, there is, I bought six of them. So just six of them. That's 21 inches. And the other one. Okay, next up, I also got another Nomi. So I got a Mummy. Oh, I love the Mummy. These are so, for $1.25, I think they're really awesome. The height of them is just like so perfect. There's just a great size overall. Like the eyes peeking through the Mummy wrap. He's wrapped up and uh, yeah. And they have the weighted bottom so they sit pretty good on like a shelf or wherever you wanna put them. And there's the back. But there he is. Then I also got another taper candle right here. So I got a two. So I have a total of two. And oh, there's the other scarecrow chair cover. All right. Also got these rugs. I'm a huge fan of these rugs. These are so cute for $1.25. So I did get a few of them. I got Hi There Pumpkin. I can't remember if this was out last year. I just can't, it's not like, I can't remember. These are super thin friends. And um, so I just got a couple of them, but I do enjoy like, you know, decorating with them. So there's that one. And here's what the back looks like. I love like all the colors of the pumpkins on there. So I got two of that design. Oh, I guess I only got two. For some reason, I thought I got three. But yeah, there's the two I chose because I already have last year's designs that they had there. They had like Welcome Fall with the Red Truck. I already have that one. And then there was a brown one that said like with a wreath on it. I forget what it says, but I already have that too. So, and I had another skull. Maybe I'm missing a bag somewhere, but I had another skull. So I don't know where that one went. The one that was like kind of um, dinged up a little bit. So I don't know where that went, but I got a total of two. So anyways, you guys, that is my haul for DT. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I would love to hear what your favorite thing is. I picked up at DT this time. And like I said, I'll be back soon for Dollar Tree because I imagine any day they're gonna be bringing out Christmas and I'm so excited for that. And then also I may find some more cute Halloween decor and that type of thing. That's why I love going to Dollar Tree because I never know what's going to be there. It's like a treasure hunt, like finding all these goodies. Like I didn't even know I was going to find this for $1.25. The witch hat is like so cute and unique for party, like detail and that type of thing. And then um, my little, yard. I just love it all. That's, you know, I love it all. So, oh wait, yeah, no, this came out of my bag. Here it is. I just found it. 
You guys, two things just slipped out of my bag. I got this guy too. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I just caught that. So I got the ghosty that hangs up. You open this up and it spreads out. It's like a tall ghosty. And I love that they wrapped them up this year instead of them being like just free floating, no pun intended, around this door because these little uh, arms and stuff get kind of like messed up. So the packaging like this is really nice this year. And then I also got my second skull. So there's two. That's right. There we go. So this one's dinged up at the bottom like the flocking is coming off. See that? But yeah, like I said, that is my haul. I found it all, so thank goodness. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. And my returning family, a huge, huge thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you all, okay, very soon with my next store walkthrough, haul, or both. Till next time, take care and God bless. I'll see you soon. Bye, friends. See you soon. Bye.